everyone, this is Panasonic at IEC 2024 in Barcelona. Here we are at our new product plaza area to highlight the new products. I'm with Mats. So Mats, this is our UR100 outdoor PTZ camera. Can you name three key points about it? Yeah, of course. So as you see here, it's pretty rugged. So weatherproof would be one of the buzzwords here. So that's both waterproof and it's earthquake resistant and you can put dust of it in the desert or you can take it in the cold and the warmth and all that. So quality, durability and ruggedness. Sounds like a superhero. So, and this is a kind of a special setup. What is it for and why it is here? Yeah, <clears throat> it, it looks quite strange, but really it's simple because the factory has to check out for various elements that would influence our products. So for instance, this machine can vibrate and it can bend in all sorts of direction, quite similar to an earthquake creating this seismic movement. So actually, when we made this camera, you can see that now the camera is moving and it's because the ground is moving. So we are able to countermeasure every movement in the ground in the camera. And that is called DISS. And we combine that with an optical stabilization and electrical stabilization and boom, we have a super steady camera. Thank you very much. And for more details, please make sure to check out the product video about UR100. Now, let's talk about another new product, UCU 700 Camera Control Unit. And here I'm with Justus. Hi, Justus. Hello. Hi. So, can you maybe name a few key features of UCU 700? Yes, of course. Um, I would like to introduce you to this new unit. So, this one um, is basically the successor to the UCU 600, which has been in the market for quite some time. Um, there are some inventions on the front side of the unit, some inventions on the back side of the unit, which I would like to touch upon very briefly. So on the front side, there is now a touchscreen display, which is um, yeah, a, a color touchscreen display. So uh, you can cycle through different menu pages. Uh, you have your inter intercom section, all the uh, different choices. Um, you can have a status page, what the camera is actually doing. So if there's any faults maybe with the unit, you can directly access these informations on the front side. And you can actually set the network address of this unit from the display so that it's easy to access over the network. Um, in addition to that, we have got the picture monitor output directly on the front side of the display. Um, so the technician can very easily check if there's a good signal coming from the, uh, uh, coming from the camera head, let's say in an event or let's say in a kind of a device rack or device room, um, but you can also access uh, the normal camera menu um, that is available on the 8th SDI output. Uh, on the back, on the UCU 600, you can access it directly from the front, right? So this makes it very easy to control this unit. Um, but this is the front side. Um, there are also some inventions to the back side as well, Let's in terms go. of uh, 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 port connectors to choose from. There's obviously um, the standard SDI ports, uh, 12G SDI is available uh, on two of these ports. Um, you've got eight in total, uh, so for your high speed in HD, etc. Um, you've got all your return lines, so four in total. You've got your uh, HD trunk, which goes back from the camera, and you can also um, yeah, uh, uh, have a prompter input to um, yeah, move a prompter signal back to the CCU. What about uh, IP connectivity? Because yeah. I know this unit is special. Yes, exactly. And industry first in some terms. Yeah. Um, obviously, we want to offer, especially with this year's ISE, where AV over IP is all the rage, um, we want to present compelling options to the customer um, to go with this camera unit when selecting their next uh, camera investments. Uh, so we present a rich, um, a rich selection of IP ports on the back. Um, first of which is two SFP ports, SFP28, which are 25 gigabit per each, uh, redundant for UHD uh, video output over SC2110-20, which is uncompressed, and um, dash 22, which is compressed JPEG XS, is otherwise name, uh, named as IPMX. Um, these two ports uh, basically are redundant, so you have you know extra security on the network side of things. 
Um, next to it is actually uh, a new connection standard that is never before seen in such kind of devices, which is a Dante audio connection. So for your um, usual uh, analog intercom or return feeds or um, let's say microphone audio from the camera, it is not only available on analog side, this CCU has of course the analog port as well, but has now got the option to use Dante in addition. And in addition, I mean parallel output, not choosing either or. Um, so Dante uses 16 audio channels which are routed in and out of the unit, which are plenty you know, for all your camera audios um, that accompany such a system. The third uh, 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 LAN connector or the, th the third group is a stream output. So you have um, this streaming output manages NDI signals and SRT signals going in and out of the unit. So if you're, let's say, in a uh, remote environment, you want, you want to do remote production, you can easily return, for example, um, say the guest that is sitting in the studio, uh, return this image or this, this image feed back to the CCU in a remote location over public, uh, uh, over public Ethernet by using such technologies as SRT, for example. Yes, which makes it very convenient and offers great new possibilities in terms of new workflows that are somewhere else already widely used but never before seen in a CCU. Yeah. That's cool. And what type of cameras are being compatible with this unit? Yes. Um, this is of course a very important question because you know of uh, investment planning uh, from the customer side. So as we see down on the bottom, uh, the UC4000 is being supported, as well as the UC3300, so the little uh, brother to the UC4000, as well as the PLV100. Of course, this new CCU sets also the stage for a newer studio camera model that will come maybe in the future from Panasonic. So for everybody, this will be a future-proof investment? Exactly. That's what it is. Should be a future-proof investment offering both traditional standards, let's say, connection standards such as SDI, analog audio, but on the same level, on the same quality level, should offer IP connections as well. And I think we made a very good product. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very for much. your time.